Finally got my headphones back, how to find a new cord. Kinevo, Amazon. Pre-workout meal. Cup of oatmeal. Two sheets, maybe even more, of graham crackers with a thing of protein shake. Alright, how's it going guys? Cali Stitic, Stinky O'Connell. Uh, a little bit of some chest bicep exercises today. And um, right here I'm opened up with the pre-exhaustion training, so I'll do some flies on the incline. I raise it to notch three on the incline and um, have a good stretch. It's kind of hard to see the angle right here, but the way I don't I don't go past parallel because you don't want to put too much pressure on the shoulders, um, on the rear delts and front delts. But when it comes to warming up for a chest workout, make sure that your rear delts and your front delts are warmed up pretty good because a lot of people don't know that those are <clears throat> very important when it comes to pressing movements, especially as your triceps, which I've noticed. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to say that that's a reason, but I don't know if I've been uh, getting worn out on chest days a lot more than usual because I've been doing uh, shoulders, triceps the day before, but it is a supporting muscle group, and that's usually like something that recovers pretty fast with me, um, but triceps is a huge supporting muscle when it comes to pressing movements like chest, so I don't know if that's getting worn out, but um, other than that, I'm liking this workout split. Here's, like I said, there's the incline flies. Um, people do them a lot differently. Um, some people like to do it without their elbows bent at all, but it just depends on how healthy your shoulders are feeling. I mean, a lot of people go lighter weight, but you don't want to get too strung out on the shoulders. You don't want to bring them down and pinch something in rear delts or front delts because that can really be a setback. So um, you can see a little bit of an arc in my back right here, like in a little arch. People think that's um, – if a lot of people don't like to have the arch, but when it comes down to it, having the arch and being able to drive with your feet – and um, it's going to put a little, little bit more power into your pressing. If you look at a lot of the power lifters, see how my rear delts are pinched back. A lot of power lifters press with their, their shoulders back and, um, and blades tucked. So that's a technique when it comes to benching, dumbbell press. But um, yeah, it just looks, I don't have a, a shirt on, like a t-shirt on. And I just have my, my belt, so it kind of looks like I have a huge arch. But I, it's not really, it's kind of like a natural arch that I have. Um, Mess around with my hat right there. I think uh, I got Kenji spotting me. Um, I'm trying to get my weight back up, my strength. I mean, when I when I dropped drop some weight to just lean out a little bit for the summer, I uh, I mean you lose usually use a you usually lose a few reps here and there, but um, for my height I'm five eight. Currently this morning was one sixty seven point six, but I'm usually around one hundred sixty eight pounds. So <clears throat> eating more, but I'm not trying to go too crazy with it, I'm going to try to slowly bring up the calories. Um, well, it's not really slowly, it's just, I don't know, being comfortable with food. So, <clears throat> nutrition is very important, um, something I preach all the time. But, um, training, trying to, training consistently, I work, I work five to six days a week, so, and I'm in the gym six days a week, so it's just, as long as I have my consistency with that, make sure I get up and go to the gym before work, and, um, keep myself on track so everyone sees this side chest with the hammer strength that's been going around this exercise has been going around a lot lately but um yeah Heather my girlfriend has been jumping to my workouts she's uh she's been still dieting she's been dropping weight leaning out and um she's not afraid to do the workouts that I do uh, there's certain things that she doesn't like to do but um other than that she she even started benching but um she kind of throws in her own mix when the workouts. Actually, this day you're gonna see that she dropped a poor thing, dropped dumbbell on her foot and like bruised her foot right in the middle of our workout. We're doing dumbbell, we're doing curls. She put the dumbbell on a bench and it rolled off on her Nike free runs and um, nailed her foot. <clears throat> but um, she's gotten the hang of like dieting thing lately. Um, I mean, it usually comes second nature with people once they like start doing it for a while. I mean, there's still a lot for her to learn, but she's picked up a lot of stuff. And when it comes to nutrition, how important it is when it comes to training, that's something I really aim to shoot every time I'm in the gym is make sure my nutrition is on point for that day. You don't want to waste time in the gym knowing that you just trained, and um, at least not to get the calories that your body needs for the day. So um, 
I think I did some reverse curls here. And I started off with, so I start off with straight curls right here. And then I'll, I'll go to reverse curls. I'm trying to work out my, um, my forearms and the outer head of the bicep, but mostly my forearms. Forearms, like a really strong genetic point in my body. But, um, I don't know, just keep on, usually when people bring up like your strong point, I don't know, it kind of like encourages me to bring it up even more. So I'm trying to get my, my forearms brought up a lot more than they already are. So reverse curls is something I'm actually able to do now because I did have some tendonitis going in my elbow, but um, I had a brace on that for a while. And um, I started warming up with the dumbbell in the beginning of my workout, which I recommend you guys doing if you have like tendonitis in the elbow or something like that and like the forearm pains. You can um, take like a five pound dumbbell and kind of just warm it up a little bit before you work out and see if you can slowly build it up. But um, after this, you're going to see me do that reverse curl. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed that dude flexing in the back. That's funny. All right. Yeah, that's been something. This is an exercise I've been wanting to throw in the mix for a while because. I uh, wasn't be able to, wasn't able to do it. Other than this, I'll take dumbbells and I'll uh, do a forearm workout with that. I can show you. I put it on a bench or I'll put it on my knee. Um, I actually did some concentration curls today on my knee. And um, biceps, I used to have a crazy bicep workout that would be like long lasting workout that have various movements. But um, I just kind of focus on the inner and the outer head. I mean, there's two parts of the biceps. And... Um, I feel a good pump, and once I feel that good pump, I'll just uh, end the workout. There's ice on her foot. She's still hitting a set. She dropped a dumbbell on her uh, foot, and it actually bounced. But um, we were almost done with the workout. She wanted to finish her workout, so we did that. And um, this was my day off of work, so I think I hit the elliptical for about 10 to 15 minutes, which I usually do on my days off. <clears throat> so... Um, yeah, you're going to see the concentration curls are actually pretty good. I, use, I switch it up when it comes to, like, supinating curls. Um, but this is a good exercise right here. Pretty cliche, but it worked really, really good. So biceps, like I said, arms is something I'm hitting more frequently when I'm doing pressing movements. I'm doing the triceps. And then I'll do, uh, like, shoulders. I'm hitting triceps, you know, when it comes to pressing. Chest, you're hitting triceps. And then on back day, I'm hitting triceps. So um, arms is something I'm bringing up more I'm bringing them up more so that's a focus and um, there right, guys appreciate you watching and um, I think I'm training a uh, chest today no it might be back so we can show some some different back movements or ab routine I'm still hitting abs and um, some cardio so thanks for watching I got some sushi right here I think this is after work I got this sushi but um yeah subscribe for more Cali Aesthetics, Nikki O'Connell, checking out. Thank you. Work hard, grub hard. Some sushi. Two rolls. The arigato.